Hey, what's up, YouTube's Blue Golf Ball here with some Pokemon TCG online news. And uh, a number of you guys have messaged me, personal messaged me, or uh, I've seen a couple of comments on some of the videos. And you guys have asked me, what are my thoughts on the Lysander's Trump card banning uh, from the Pokemon TCG competitive tournament play? And uh, this is one of the first cards in a long time, I think like 15 years uh, from Sneasel. Uh, getting banned for what it's worth, right? Uh, currently in Japan, uh, the uh, Tropical Beach is banned there, uh, more due to the rarity of the card than the effect uh, of the card itself. But Lysander's Trump card is banned, and uh, we can go through this together, and I'll let you guys know what my thoughts are. And you can see here, um, it's going to be effective as of June 15th. So we had a couple more days if you guys are playing in like uh, weekly tournaments or things like that. Um, it, it's going to be Bandit on June 20th, and coincidentally, it's the same day as Bandit Ring, I believe. So that's kind of nice as this card comes to a close. Uh, a new chapter opens with Bandit Ring, so a new set comes into play as well. That's kind of a nice uh, poetic uh, undertone. Um, the reasoning behind the banning of the card from Pokemon International states right here, it eliminates one of your opponent's victory conditions, uh, running out of cards from your deck. Um, that way, cards like Bunnelby, right, you can start discarding cards uh, in the expanded format. You can have things like Agron and uh, Durant to devour. And uh, you know what, um, you know, it's a little bit more strategic there to have that way to to win, the having that win condition. Um, now... The other reason is uh, allowing repeated use of powerful cards. I know there's A specs that you can only use once. You can only have one in your deck, right? Uh, but um, with Live Standard Trump Card, you can trump card those things back in. Of course, uh, the rotation with the format is going to happen and uh, pretty soon after Worlds, and we will lose out on all the A spec cards since there hasn't been an A spec reprinted since um, the Plasma Blast set. And. Um, I think I think that's a pretty good reason to. Uh, of course, you can always Lysander Trump card um, other supporters, right? And then reuse those powerful trainer cards. And then there's always that infinite loop with VS Seeker. You can VS Seeker Lysander Trump card, play Trump card, and then you have VS Seeker back in your deck. So that's the infinite loop there as well. And I can see that's great reasoning for that. It also allows drawing your, um, your deck quickly with minimal repercussions. And so you can have no regards to what you want to discard. Just discard. And in the back of your mind, you have that safety net of thinking, oh, yeah, I could just trump card everything back in. And um, with that removal of trump card, it's going to cause players to be a little more strategic and to consider and discern uh, precisely and correctly what cards they want to remove. And uh, I think with Trump Card away from the game, um, we have a little bit more of competition and, and a little bit more strategy with that. So I, I like that too. Now, the last one that I have here, it extends the time of battles. If you guys play Pokemon TCG in real life, even online, um, uh, your opponent can probably stall and uh, just run through their deck, get everything set up, and then license Trump Card, and then... I don't know. Uh, anything can happen with that, right? You can trump card things back in and install the game, and uh, no one ever decks out. So uh, the length of the battle can be a lot longer, and then you're going to end up with a draw, right? You you don't get a win. Your opponent isn't going to win. You guys just end up drawing because you take up too much time since there's a time limit in competitive play. Of course, you can do that all day if you're playing for fun, but uh, who likes that anyways either? And those are the reasons uh, that Pokemon International, uh, you know, found that yeah, this is these are strong enough and um, per, you know, very persuasive evidence uh, to ban this trump card. And um, and you know what, my thoughts are, I I I would I would lean on agreeing. I think Pokemon International they um, you know they they have great reasons to do what they do and. Hey, they're the ones that bring us such great contents in these cards. Now, a couple things aside, I do think that um, it would eliminate some counters to certain playstyle and within the metagame, uh, namely Flareon and Night Marchers. Uh, you can't really counter Night Marchers as well. Uh, you can still counter them, right? You can use Target Whistle, things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, Trump Card. Um, was always a really good card to counter those kind of decks. Um, for example, Empoleon, you need to use Execute, uh, uh, right? The, the egg. You could just play Trump card and bring those back in 
And then that kind of forces your opponent to discard something else in their next turn, unless they're able to, you know, get the egg out again. But um, and trump carding actually, there's a lot of scenarios where if your your opponent is cautious of playing their via seeker that's in their hand. Well, you wouldn't really know that. This is hindsight. Um, you, you can trump card it in your next turn, and then they miss the opportunity to via seeker the supporter, uh, you know, because they uh, they weren't sure to via seeker for it yet, right? Things like that. Um, so. Uh, you know, at the, at, the, at the end of the day, I think Trump Card, um, having that eliminated from the game is going to be really good. Uh, the Pokemon TCG uh, competitive play has been really good without it in previous years. And, uh, you know, definitely Pokemon is, uh, building a deck is an art form. And uh, to get rid of Trump Card, it allows players to use things that uh, had seen less play, right? Things like Revive, things like Sacred Ash. Uh, energy retrieval, those things can, that can get some uh, cards back from the discard pile, and um, you know, trump card would be would be pretty nice, um, you know, you know, for for getting things back. But then with it gone, it allows us to have a little bit, bit deeper and strategic competitive play. Um, so those are my thoughts. Uh, I think it's good. It's good for the game, and um, you know, so long, trump card. I think it'd be nice to have them around for at least worlds to see what that would look like, and then get rid of them. But uh, you know. It's fine. Um, so yeah, those you guys want to see, you know, want to know my thoughts, and uh, that's about it. Uh, nothing too exciting. Nothing too like I don't want to scream at your ears right now, and make you guys have uh, you know your ears bleed because I'm like, why? How can you guys get rid of Trump card? I love that card, you know. Um, but yeah, if you guys, uh, that's it for the video. Uh, that's about it for the news. Um, stay tuned for the regionals and stuff like that. There's some really cool uh, gameplay there. Um, I'll probably try to get some deck analysis on some of the the players that have their decks and showcase them perhaps. But anyways, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. If you like my opinions on the trump card, um, give this video a thumbs up. If you don't like my opinions, don't give it a thumbs down. I'm just kidding. If you want to give it a thumbs down on this video, feel free to do that too. And uh, yeah, if you guys uh, have deck ideas, shoot them my way. I'll see too if I can build them. This is mostly a TCG channel. In case if you're just running into this channel randomly and you want to hear some news on the Lysander trump card, well, this is a TCG online channel. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and hearing me on my... Um, random nonsense and opinions. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Uh, take care. Goodbye.